so you want to learn how to stream Blade and Sorcery to Twitch using OBS Studio. Well, you came to the right place. During this video, we'll be discussing how to optimize OBS for Twitch, how to create a scene in OBS, how to optimize Blade and Sorcery for the best viewing experience, how to add a free overlay, and how to see your Twitch chat while you're in VR. I will also break this video out into chapters so you can skip ahead to where you need to, or you can use the time span stamps that are located somewhere over here. If you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button. It does help a lot. And if you want to see any future content by me, uh, please hit that subscribe button. It is free. With OBS open, the first thing I we'll want to do is optimize it for streaming. Um, so under the tools selection, we're actually going to click the auto configuration wizard. From here, we'll be checking the box for optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. Here, we can click our base canvas resolution. I'm going to be using the current, which is 1920 by 1080, and then the FPS 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. I'm actually just going to switch this rate right to use current, uh, use 60. Click next. The service that I'm going to be using is Twitch. Uh, prefer hardware encoding and estimate bitrate with bandwidth test. And click next. So as we wait for this bandwidth test, I will be back. Once the test is complete, we'll click apply settings. And now our OBS will be optimized for Twitch streaming. Now we can go in and create a scene. If this is your first time using OBS, you'll have no scenes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to click a new one. And I'm going to name this one VR Streaming YouTube Test. Perfect. Now with our scene in place, we're going to need to add some sources. So the first source that we're going to want to add is our game capture. So how I do it for Blade and Sorcery is I click OK. And instead of clicking capture any full screen application, we're actually going to do click specific window. And once we have Blade and Sorcery open, that's the window we'll be selecting. For now, we can click OK. Next, we're going to want to add our uh, video capture device. So from here, click video capture device. And from the drop down menu, you can click the video of your choice. Now with the video in place, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the size uh, to what I see fit. And I'm going to move it, in my case, over to the left. And for now, that looks pretty good. So we're going to do that. We can also go in and add an audio input capture. Um, so this is where you're going to get your microphone audio. So in my case, I'm actually going to be using the headset audio. So my Oculus Quest 2 um, headset microphone. So that way when I'm streaming, uh, people can still hear me clearly. Nice. And if we want to, we can actually look into adding a free stream overlay. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second. So the website that we're going to be using to create our free stream overlay is Stream Elements. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, you can connect this with your Twitch account and you can log in and it is free to use. From the Stream Elements homepage, we're going to be clicking the drop down menu for the streaming tools and we're going to look at the overlays gallery. So I'm going to scroll through and just pick a overlay that I like. Um, in this particular case, I've used the blue flare and the red flare before, so I'm going to use the red flare. So I'm going to click create, create my overlay. And then I'm going to click go to my overlays. And now what it's going to do is it's going to let me customize um, a stream ended screen, a be right back screen, a stream starting soon screen, uh, the game chat with the chat open and then the actual in-game content. So this is the one that I'm going to use for now. So I'm going to click Edit. So this is the standard layout right now for using the Streamlabs overlay, or the Stream Elements overlay, I should say. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get as close to our scene as possible. So I did put my video in the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to move it over here. I'm actually going to make this full. Oh. Zoom in a little. Now. Yeah, there we go, we'll zoom out. Now that I have the video where I want it to be, this is where my screen is gonna be. 
um, you can customize the different overlays here. In this case, this bottom banner, I think I'm actually gonna just get rid of all of these different things. So I'm just gonna click on each one and hit delete. I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Um, I'm actually gonna remove the new subscriber as well because I haven't hit that tier to actually see my subscribers. So it would just remain empty. Um, and I want as much gameplay showing as possible. So this looks pretty good for my use case. So I'm just gonna click save. And now I can actually grab the link if I click this little link here. And we're gonna head back over to OBS. In OBS, we're going to add a browser source. Click browser, click OK. And under the URL, we're going to enter in our link. And then for the width, we're actually going to do the same as our stream. So it's 1080. Oh, no, it's 1920 by 1080. And then we're gonna click OK. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna add the overlay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna resize my video. Um, so I'm gonna click my video capture device and I'm just gonna shrink it so that it fits in the box kind of nicely. And there we go, looks pretty good. Now before we enter the game, I just wanna do one quick thing. So we're actually gonna go to Twitch and we're gonna open up the creator dashboard. Once in the creator dashboard, we're going to click stream manager and the three little buttons next to my chat, we're actually gonna click out pop out. And that way we have our pop out chat. Um, we're gonna use this so we can see the chat while we're in VR. Once in the Oculus app, or once you have your headset on, uh, we're gonna do the quest link. Um, so this is gonna be specific to the quest or the Oculus headsets. So once we load in, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually going to scroll all the way over to the right on the Oculus. And we're actually gonna click add a desktop panel. So once we add a desktop panel, we can click under the Google Chrome and we can add a chat with your non-trigger finger, I guess it'd be your middle finger, you can select and move the window to where you like. So I typically like to position it above me so I can still see it. And before we do anything else, we're gonna actually wanna click the little pin here that says pin to experience. So what that, that's gonna allow us to do is to see the chat even when we're in a game. Um, so it'll always be there so you can always look up if you do want to reposition it, you can unpin it as well and kind of move it around and then repin it. And that's how you do that. So now we're going to go into our games. So we're going to click library and we're going to open our Steam VR. Now in Steam VR, we're going to open up Blade and Sorcery. And we're just going to wait for it to load in. And then once it's loaded in, we're going to need to do one more thing to make sure that Blade and Sorcery looks good for your viewers. Once we're in Blade and Sorcery, we can actually take our headset off for a second. And we're just gonna click at the bottom left side here where it says press F5 or click here to open the menu bar. You can do either of these things. And it's gonna open up the menu bar. Um, the first thing that you need to do is change the view to player view. So you're gonna press F2. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna make it a lot better to view as a viewer. Um, so anyone who comes to your stream is going to get a much better experience than they would have in the default view. Next, I like to check off invincibility, infinite mana, infinite imbue, infinite focus, and infinite arrows, because I like to feel like a god when I play this game, and then press the X button. Now, if we want to get rid of this little overlay or watermark, you can press F6, and then it's going to clear it up, and you'll be ready to stream. So once again, thanks for watching my video. I hope that this was helpful. If it was helpful, please consider hitting that like button once again. And if you do wanna see more content, whether it be VR or different kinds of gaming or different kinds of how-to videos, please hit that subscribe button. And you can check me out at twitch.tv slash TV. Appreciate it and we'll see you soon.